Okay, so we're back to our example. Um, the PFG is an arbitrary waveform generating device. Um, this one is called Chirp. This is only a simulation. This is not exactly what it looks like uh, in the oscilloscope. Let's see if I can dumb this down a little bit. Connection problem, connection problem. There, I mean, that's not exactly the same, is it? This is the waveform called chirp. That's what it looks like under the oscilloscope. And that's pretty darn similar to the plasma. Uh, again, this is 45,000 hertz that it's running, um, but it's counting all the different little peaks in there, and it's spitting out uh, things like 100, 200 kilohertz. Uh, so just make this down to square. Familiar, right? Okay, what's it saying it's doing? Uh, 45 kilohertz. Good. I'll just show some different waveforms of this. I, I don't think I've done that before. Uh, Gauss is one I did before. I was thinking of chirp because I mean the chirp looks the most like uh, the plasma waveforms. Um, this is Gauss. This looks, I mean, it looks really nice, doesn't it? Uh, it's outputting 45, that waveform, 45,000 times a second. So, I mean, you, and you're getting, you're implying harmonics for that. Um, that's the nice part. You're implying more harmonics with uh, the chirp function. Let's see what else I can do. Yeah, and there's signs, uh, triangle, and uh, ramp part. This will be a big shout out to Andamed because this is the only waveform that Andamed ran. You can see how excellent the harmonics are with this. Huh, it's very strange looking. I didn't think it would. And it's set on contact. Huh. That's ramp part. What if we uh, do a ramp part 70? Um, when you do that, it starts to look a lot like sawtooth. Ramp down, well, I think it does look the other way uh, when you get into a uh, ramp down 90 is not a, perhaps not the best example. We did 70 before, so let's do 70 with this one. Yeah, and the, the big problem with this is that when you're doing contact, you're looking at this rise time, which is, oh, I can't get my fingers in there. Maybe that'll hold. I just have some difficulty because of the uh, still broken oscilloscope. Anyways, just with one probe connected, this is the rise time. You know, this is flipping on, and that needs to be uh, faster than 20 microseconds, which it still is um, in this case, but it's not flipping on it.
extremely fast, like like the square wave would be, and that's why uh, the square is uh, fairly preferred. But that that chirp seems to be uh, very very interesting. You uh, sine wave, you know, there's the sinusoidal, and I think sine wave looks exactly the same. Um, and the power output is is about the same throughout the uh, the whole range. So it's clean. I mean, there's, you're not really getting harmonics there uh, at all. And the frequency that it says that it's running is, uh, you know, 45,000 kilohertz. So I'll just go back to that chirp one. Um, it's got to be in there for a reason. Um, someone designed it. Someone liked it. They they might have said this is what the plasma looks like uh, in that waveform. So. Let's, let's run that. Um, Ten microseconds there. Implied harmonics showing up on the oscilloscope. I, I don't know. I might have to. Uh, I can't put these in. Uh, the, the Zyto this way. It would be nice if I could, but I mean, for people who are trying out the frequencies that and you want to imply the harmonics directly like this, I think this chirp is, it looks like a really good uh, example. And even on this uh, $200 oscilloscope, the frequencies are pretty much right on. And, and all the waveforms, they, they go a little left and right, but you don't see them changing much at all. And, and keep in mind, these are like the homemade wires that I made. So, yeah, like and favorite, and uh, I hope you've learned something from this. It's, it's always interesting to play with these things, uh, look at the measurements, look at what's coming out, uh, and try to, you know, form these around Hopefully ideas for waveforms for the future and, and to help everybody, really.